forget about your newsletter locations. You want to make sure you have the sign up on your home page. It's probably the most visited page on your website, so put it on there. You want to make sure you have a dedicated page just for your newsletter. Do not make the mistake of telling people in social media, hey, we have a newsletter, go to our website. And they go to your website, they're like, where in the heck is this sign up? Put it on a dedicated page. And on that page, make sure you tell them how often they're going to get it, what the download is if they're going to get it, and how often they're going to hear from you, right? So they, they go, oh, I know why I should sign up for this, because it's going to get it every month. It's going to be tips on X, Y, and Z, or it's going to be updates about what this organization has done. Make sure you have a page just for your opt-in. It's not only going to live on that blog post or page you wrote, it might be on its own section. Again, for you to use when you're doing social media and you wanna put it on any relevant sidebars, footers and pages with tasteful, of course, don't balk it over people's heads, but just make sure that you give this opt-in as much chance to survive as possible. And the other neat tip, if you don't remember anything else today is when someone gets and signs up for your newsletter or your opt-in, make sure they are redirected to a thank you page. In fact, if you do it online for today's resources, you'll be taken to a thank you page to download it, which is nice, but there's a reason why we're doing that. Because when you do that redirect, you are going to create a destination goal in Google Analytics. And that's how you saw that earlier, that chart where I had conversions and everyone coming through. You'll know how many people signed up on your newsletter, but you might wanna know of all the places we stuck this, this opt-in form, which page should most people sign up on so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel next time you make a new one. Like, well, do we put it on the home page or do we put it on this page? Oh, let's go check out our destination goal and analytics. And again, I provide you a resource on how to put that together. So please, my darlings, once you get all this done, sprinkle this everywhere and make sure that when someone signs up, they go to a thank you page so that you can track that effort in Google Analytics.